Okay, something I wanted to show you was an excerpt from uh, George Washington's farewell address, as we know, in 1796. He is given the opportunity he possibly could have run again for or the presidency, but chose not to and steps down and wants to return to his farm at Mount Vernon outside of Washington, D.C. Um, so as a result of that, there's some major points that are made in this, but the two major points that you need to understand are that he basically talks about us getting involved in entangling alliances with foreign nations as being a young country, as well as how political parties can disrupt or divide the country. So his wisdom is shown very well here. So as it sees, as you can see in kind of the first line, the great rule of conduct for us in regard to foreign ma- nations is in extending our commercial relations to have with them as little political connection as possible. So he's saying here, this point we're seeing his development of the idea of foreign relations and starting to create alliances in the early phases of our country. And as we know, he did create um, and sign into law the Neutrality Proclamation basically saying that America would not side with either Britain or France um, as things and events unfolded in Europe um, during the French Revolution. He also talks about here um, the idea as a political party, um, and it says in here, the spirit of party is inseparable from our nature, having its roots in the strong passions of the human mind. It exists under different shapes in all governments, more or less stifled, controlled, or repressed. So he says it's kind of natural, but he also says that it can become basically our worst enemy and that it can create factions and divide our country, and this is something that we do not need to do, and that it would basically create a permanent despotism. Um, So as you can see here, Washington has two major areas that he addresses, being dealing with foreign nations and alliances and so forth, and political parties. So keep this in mind. Um, This is something good to understand for the AP exam, as well as any assessment given to you. Good luck.